back to my channel today it is thursday the first of july how are we in july already like the june has flown by and i can't believe we are in july already it's actually crazy but anyway i'm vlogging because i do have like an exciting day today me my mum and my sister are going to a place called Silif. it's in cumbria it's basically got like the sea and like it's got the amusements and, like a fair and stuff and like the green area to have like picnics on and stuff and i did actually go we just got like a few weeks ago so the vlog will always be up on my channel i think anyway but i'm going with my family this time and it's a lovely warm day and it's perfect the weather to be going out and i do have a lovely play suit from h&m it's like a denim one it's actually from the divided like range yeah, the h&m about all of it's closed down now so that's quite depressing isn't it like everywhere it's closing down it's actually really bad but anyway i actually have to go out and put some petrol in the car because it, it's only got two bars and i was at work this morning i started at five and then i finished it around 11 um i do it time on the thursday and friday and i'm contracted to work on the weekend so on the weekend to work from five o'clock until 12 and then yeah but i'm not actually that tired so it's quite good because like i used to have to get an early night if i work i used to go to sleep at around like nine o'clock i can't find it hard to get to sleep so i am usually really tired but i'm not tired now anyway i do need to put my bag and stuff because it will be going out soon and i do also have to put some petrol in the car when you pay at the pump at Tesco and Sainsbury's, they take a deposit of £100, which I think is, like, crazy. Because you used to only take, like, the £1, which is fair enough, because, like, it used to get refunded to you anyway. But it's, like, this new, like, rule they've done, and it's really annoying. So I'm going to have to go into, like, the petrol place and actually, like, pay inside. It's not a problem at all, but, like, it's just a bit more, like, annoying because you have to queue and stuff. But it's fine. Anyway... I'm going to be taking my speedy bag, my Louis Vuitton one. If you have not watched my father and DHgate haul, have a look at this beauty, these features in it, and I need to use it more often as well. So I will have to put my purse and stuff in there and like my essential stuff. Also, I did buy some wrapping paper from Tesco's today because it is because it is mine and Scott's one year anniversary on the 4th of July. It was just like a happy one year anniversary because, you know, I've had to put up with him for a whole year now. <laughs> it's okay, that's been the best year. It's been his girlfriend. Cringe. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got some wrapping paper. I have bought him like a few presents and I didn't have anything to trap them up with. So this is £1.50 from Tesco. So thank you, you Tesco, for sorting the wrapping paper. But yeah, anyway, I am gonna they pack my bag and stuff and then they're gonna go and put some petrol in because yeah they were going out around quarter to 12 i mean a quarter to one so and it's half past now so i better get to see this before we set off also before i go quickly i did actually buy this like a makeup cosmetic case from home bargains 20 pounds it's part of the olivia hill range it's still on there olivia olivia hill range the 20 pounds for this it like opens and closes. I've actually got four eyes to palettes in there. It's so spacious inside and I've got like all my foundations, eyelashes and stuff. And this is for when I was doing people's makeup and stuff. It's just easier to keep it all together in one place. But how good is that for £20? Home bargains. You get yourself over there. You also have the makeup brush bags and stuff for makeup artists and all sorts of stuff. And I did actually buy a little headband as well, which is really cute. I do my makeup in and also... There's some makeup cleansing cloths as well. How lovely are them colours? But yeah, I am going to go before I get told off for being late. I arrived at Silith now and the mum has kindly bought me and my sister chips and gravy from the fish and chip shop. It actually smells divine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have you brought some Pepsi Max? Oh, do you want? She's a good egg. She's, she's come prepared. She's brought some cutlery for us as well to have the um, chips with. But I am hungry. And I, I only had half a pizza for lunch because I wasn't really hungry. Well, I, I was hungry, but I'm hungry now anyway, so we're going to eat. But it's a lot warmer than we expected it to be, though. 
Isn't it? It is. Yeah. They're very I nice and warm. <laughs> Just for the arcade and I've played some air hockey with my sister and she won't be five too so that was quite embarrassing because considering that I've always been bigger on air hockey she finally did beat me but this is the view over here right it's the way in England and that is Scotland over there and usually like it's really cloudy and like it's it misty and you can never see is that like a clear of Scotland? Like, how clear is the view? Look at that. Like, how. So, yeah, so. I might as well go on the board and go to Scotland. So. Imagine, I've got myself a strawberry magnum. Um, your bunny is at the ice cream shop. They're getting ice cream, but I didn't. You read fancy like, ice cream from the shop, so that's why I got a magnum. And mum also got a magnum as well. You're like a millionaire one, is it? The caramel, the billionaire. The bliss tastes exactly like uh, a quality street, like the strawberry cream. So good, I love them. We had to walk along the seafront as well, and it was really nice. So I'm gonna have this. A bun's good ice cream. And what did you get? Cookies and cream. The cookies and cream ice cream. Nice. Hi, I'm um, home again now, guys. I honestly had a lovely time at Silla. Like, honestly, guys, it was actually scorching hot. I'm glad I put some sun cream on because otherwise I would have burnt because, honestly, I'm a naturally pale person, as you guys can tell. But, yeah, I'm home. And on the way home, I actually dropped off a designer handbag. Like, I'm a local Indian because I've been selling a few designer items on Gumtree. And, like, there's someone from a local, like, Indian in my kind of, like, a town or a city or whatever you want to call it. They wanted to buy one of the bags, so I dropped it off and I sold it to them. So I've made a little money to I've made a little bit of money today, which I'm very happy about. So that'll go towards my little trip to Newcastle with my boyfriend Scott. Because before our one year anniversary we're going to Newcastle from Sunday the fourth of July until Tuesday the sixth of July. So I'm I'm very pleased about that, like, you know. I'm having a chicken corner for tea tonight because yeah, that is the only curry I actually like. I can tolerate because I have a very mild spice range, whatever you'd like to call it. Like, I cannot go any spicier than a korma. Plus, the chicken kormas are very underrated and with the coconut it tastes, this is unbelievable. But yeah, but also, I'm now going to FaceTime Scott because, to be honest, I've not really spoken to him much today because I've been at work and he's been at work and it's actually his last day of working at his job today because he will be doing cakes full time. It's a very exciting time for Scott because he will be going into like a, a shop very soon, hopefully in a few months. So this is going to give him a taste of what, he's, of what it is like to be working full time, self-employed, you know, he's going to smash it. I wish him all the best and good luck and everything like that, but I am going to FaceTime him now because I've just got in and I smell of sun cream as well. But on, honestly, the weather is unbelievable today. So I look like an oily mess, but it's fine. I've had makeup on for like a good few hours. I've had it on since around like 12 o'clock ish. So, what do you expect? It's now 7 o'clock. So, it's been on for a good 7 hours. I look tired as hell because my bags are showing for him. I am going to take my makeup off in a minute because I will be going in the bath. I need to wash my hair but our shower is currently not there at the moment because there's been a leaky pipe and it's like it made the ceiling in the kitchen go damp so you've just kind of had to like have baths and stuff to wash our hair with but my grandma bless her offered to let us like they use her shower and stuff, so yeah, that was very nice of her, you know. But, like, yeah, to be honest, it's not too bad because at least you still have uh, somewhere uh, to wash in. It's not ideal uh, having to wash your hair in the bath, but uh, what can you do in times like this, guys, when you know, the shower has been leaking? It's, yeah, yeah, what can you do? But... I think I will end the vlog here because I am going to be going to sleep for around 9 o'clock, if not earlier. 
I need to get in the bath. I need to take you know, this clout off my face because like it literally feels disgusting. And you know, my blackheads are probably full of makeup all clogged and stuff, which is disgusting. So I've definitely got to do my skincare tonight and use my cleanser and stuff. But if you have guys, but what if you have enjoyed this vlog? Make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.